Uh, Thomas Matten, I believe, is is here at this time. He's in Kenya. So thank you guys for staying up late. I know uh, some people have had to go on to other calls on the different things, but we're still sharing this with the world through Facebook. So all of you that are sharing, uh, uh, just know that this is going to go to a lot of people around the world. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, Thomas, good to have you on, my friend. Praise the Lord. Good. Thank you so much, Apostle Joshua. Do I have to hit the button here? You're, you're on. Okay, I'm on anyway. Good. The Lord bless everybody listening and uh, joining us. I want to say it's uh, a time of revival. I'm glad to be in Africa. I'm coming to you from my office here in uh, Nairobi, Kenya. So it's good to represent the motherland. You see the Simba lions up behind me, one of our logos. Uh, and the Lord has me here walking, prophetically walking the nation through some things about corruption. The Lord spoke about a great move of anti-corruption that's going to happen in the nation of Kenya. And um, it's just been an amazing time. I, I had a visitation from the Lord when this thing started. And um, I feel like for the body of Christ worldwide, it's going to be a time of revival, personal yeah. revival. Isaiah 52 says, awake. My God, I feel I feel this. Awake, O Zion, you that slumbered and slept. And God can show his people that the comfort that we all seem to have and know can be erased in a minute. Who would imagine that things could shift in the world so quickly? We want to ask, who is it to shut the churches down? Who is it to tell everyone to stay in their houses? It just happened like it just came overnight. But in Matthew 24, Jesus said, uh, you'll see the signs even of a pe of pestilence, but the end is not yet because the greatest visitation of God that we've seen is is not behind us it's in front of us and i heard the lord say what is coming is greater than anything we've seen mass scales of miracles mass scales of financial breakthrough wealth creation wealth yes. uh, transfer and how can it happen unless the lord shake people up first god has to get you out of your comfort place all of america is in an uproar now people are running to get toilet rolls i'm in africa i thought I'm American. I have to copy America a little bit. So I said, go in the shops and buy all the comfy eight packs. I bought all of them <laughs> and the lemon waters and the, the other things, you know, but who could imagine this could happen so quickly. But the Lord spoke to me that um, this is going to be a time when he's going to cause many people. Now there's going to be a dividing line where he's going to cause many people. Like it said in second Peter one 10, to make your calling and election sure. It's time to, and this quarantine, this lockdown thing is, somebody said it's like a Sabbath. I agree with that. It's like uh, a moment where we can all get shaken up a bit and say, wow, we need to just have time to pray. And a lot of people are so busy in their jobs and their routines, they never get a time to do that. So it, it, the, God did not do this. It, the devil and his ugly friends did it. But if God allowed it for anything, for any reason, I'll tell you, it's to shake the church up and wake the people up that revival can begin to come. Um, the Lord also spoke to me clearly about this is going to be a season of financial uh, increase. It's happening for me. I can't tell on air some things that are happening. It's really, really astounding what's going on with me right now uh, in the blessings of the Lord. And one of the Hebrew definitions of Jehovah Jireh, Ire Jireh, is he's the father, our overseer, who sees our future and will see to it that it happens. He's mm -hmm. our father who sees our future and he'll see to it that it happens. So people that God has called to be on the edge, he's going to fund them right now. When it seems like a time of economic shakeup and downturn, uh, it's not going to be for God's people. I also heard the Lord say that Venezuela is going to be broken loose and it's going to return to capitalism and democ democracy and capitalism. And just today I heard that uh, the, the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, United States Secretary of State, just put out a, they're putting out a $15 million 
arrest warrant against Maduro, the president there, uh, because God's had enough of some of this stuff. And I want to say something about China. China has persecuted the church. So it's no wonder that this thing came out. I saw it like, like I haven't had any, heard anybody say this, but I saw it. It's like a plague, like the plagues of Egypt. Let my people go. And somebody is going to have to see that that system is broken in China for the end of persecution against Christianity. And yeah. this could just be the thing to shake that up. And now China is also on the rampage. They're doing it here in Africa. They're on the rampage to take over industries. Italy was so hit by the coronavirus uh, in mass numbers because uh, we've heard that the Chinese are after the industries there, the silk factories and the leather making factories, and they're buying some of them. So who knows the, diab the depths of the diabolical strategy of, of the enemy in all of this. But God's going to turn it around by waking people up, shaking them up. And the Lord said to me, and had me declare this prophetically when this thing first came out, I heard it, it was, you know, when they said they're going to really go to the distance of all this quarantining and all this. The Lord said to me, my people, it's not going to be long. It's not going to be a long term thing. It's going to come and go. But I allowed it to wake and shake and cause things to happen. And as far as people feeling like they're they're in despair about this, the Holy Spirit said to me, I have everything you want. I have all the favor you want. I have all the money you want. Uh, I have the opportunities, the people. I have everything that you need and want. So uh, let this be a, a, a time for a new thing to come about. Psalm 91 is also the decree said it will not come near you. And uh, it is real because we lost an evangelist friend a couple of days ago. He's in heaven now. I was with him in Florida in a conference and the Lord had me prophesy to him, said, you're going to be in Los Angeles. And a couple of weeks later, I get a call from him. He says he's in Los Angeles. A great door opened. It was a great thing. But I didn't hear the Lord say that he'd be in heaven, but he's in heaven today. So uh, is it affecting people? Yes. Will it touch you? No. Continue to say it's not going to touch you. It's not going to touch your house. It's not going to touch your people. And another thing the Lord said to me, he said, it's the job of my prophets. It's the job of my church to chase this virus out of the earth, to completely destroy the pandemic, to destroy it with our words. That's been said here tonight. Yes. yes. Several. To destroy it with our words, with our faith. What do you have faith in? Do you have faith in God? Or do you have faith in this thing? Or are you going to allow the people of the heathens of the world to roll over everybody and cause us to be the ultimate inconvenience? But the Lord says no. But know that we're in the time of shaking and awakening. And I believe that, uh, you know, it's a sign that we can see that the end times will come. If anybody wondered about it, we see how quickly yeah. this thing can just, you know, just yeah. like that. So it's time for people to wake up, Thank wake you. up, wake up and get busy about the father's business. And please, I just want to pray, please, people of God, please, servants of God, pray for the nations to be broken loose. Pray for people to come out of bondage. Pray for people to come out of uh, their, their spiritual uh, quietness and deadness. Pray for an absolute revolution to happen from within the church. And we are chasing all of this evil stuff out of our midst and out of the earth in Jesus' name. Love you much. Amen. Thank you so much, Prophet.